Hi, my name is Abdul Fatih Amalim. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to illustrate on how we can record says return or yeah, says return or return inward in QuickBook according to recording time in QuickBook uh, software. So first of all, let's go ahead and make a says. So let's say we create an invoice. Either we can create an invoice or you create a CSS sheet. So once we create an invoice, then we we'll go ahead and select the customer. In this case, I'm choosing a DIM. Then select the item I want to sell. So let's say laptop, and then I want to sell five. Okay, then let's say the cost is uh, 150,000. 150, so we have 750 for the five items. And then uh, we go ahead and uh, save and close. So let's say it happens that um, Nadine decided to return two. But before we go, before we do that, Click go to report and uh, says so says by item summary. Let's see what we sold uh, from within the date range. So you can see we have the seven item. Let me, let me just leave it to today. Eleven and refresh. So we sold five item today. Okay, so we've confirmed that we sold five item then we go ahead to home then on receipt receive of this on the receipt of this item from nadim in order to record it to click on refund and credit like a credit memo on the refund on the credit memo window we also need to select nadim because it's the customer that is returning then we select the item the customer is returning, which is the laptop. Okay. Then let's say we are returning. He's returning two. Uh, two of the items. Then the rate is one fifty. Okay. He's returning one fifty. But before then, I want us to look at our profit and loss standard. From here we see we have 750, but I want it to be just today's transaction. So let me refresh that. So still 750. Yeah, 750. Okay. So we've confirmed that that is 750. So we are expecting to see 450 after this uh, refund. Okay. So we'll go ahead and save and close. Now. We are retaining as an available credit, so we want to give a refund. No, we want to apply to an invoice. So click on OK. And you can see this is the invoice that we have 750, and we're applying the 300. So once we click on done, the that is saved. So click on open windows. So let's go to profit and loss. Now we are left with 450 because we've uh, recorded the return made by Nedim, and you can also go to sales by item summary to also confirm uh, what we have uh, within the date. Okay, you can see 450. It means we sold three, right? We've returned. They've returned two, and we've sold three. Okay. Now this is how you record. Your uh, sales return in QuickBook Desktop.